Hi, my name is Clint Patterson, and in this video I want to talk about disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs, or DMARDs. And these drugs are used to treat common autoimmune diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis or ankylosing spondylitis or psoriatic arthritis, amongst others. And disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs first came into my life when I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis now about seven years ago. And uh, I suffered from chronic rheumatoid arthritis for, for, for many of those years and was on the, uh, the DMARD methotrexate, which is one of the most common styles of these drugs. Um, when you take methotrexate, you also have to take uh, folic acid to accompany the drug because methotrexate uses uh, folic acid uh, to, um, to work properly. And, uh, and therefore you don't want to have it stealing folic acid from your body. Now, disease-modifying anti-rheumatic drugs are, uh, are quite an aggressive way of treating a disease. Um, methotrexate originated originally for treating cancer patients, so it's something that uh, one pharmacist says to me was extraordinarily toxic, and um, I had a lot of side effects from taking methotrexate. And uh, this particular DMARD causes significant fatigue, and so if, if you have one of the autoimmune diseases, you'll know that you're commonly fatigued, and uh, taking a drug that adds to fatigue is obviously quite detrimental to your life. However, the idea of course is to keep your inflammation levels in your body at an absolute minimum so that the autoimmune disease doesn't do um, too much immediate damage which contributes to, particularly uh, with rheumatoid arthritis on joints, uh, some extreme long-term degradation and damage. So there is uh, a little bit of information for you about DMARDs and in particular methotrexate. But if you're looking for an alternative um, to chronic uh, drugs for your autoimmune diseases, then there, there is an approach that I followed, which is a natural approach to autoimmune diseases, something that I researched very heavily over a period of several years. And I've put together a program called the Rheumatoid Arthritis Program. Uh, and uh, it is at rheumatoidarthritisprogram.com. So go and check that out if you're interested in an alternative and um, whatever path you take, I wish you all the best in your health and uh, good luck and uh, I'll talk to you soon.